What is going on, everyone? It is Tyler McKinney back here, and let's talk about the XFL. I didn't say that right. I meant the XFL, and by this time, you probably have already heard that June Jones has put it on his account that he is going to be the offensive coordinator for this Seattle team under Jim Haslett. I think that this is a fantastic hire. We all know 5-0. and Houston Roughnecks, ah, that team was amazing. It was awesome. Uh, they had some really, really outstanding players. Uh, on that team, and everybody is amped for him being back. And I, I'm really amped that they're going to be back in Seattle. I really enjoyed the Seattle Dragons team. I loved the Dragons, uh, I, even though they weren't they weren't one of the be better teams in the league. I just loved the logos. Uh, the color scheme was was really original. Uh, you know for for an American team to have dragons, you usually don't find that. So I thought that that was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I love, I love green. I like blues. I like cool colors. I, I just, I love the whole thing, the whole scheme of all that. And so to have him there, um, you know, it is really cool and exciting. Uh, what does this say? What does this mean? Well, for the XFL, all of really the leaks that we've been getting, all the information we've been getting on staff and things of that nature, have all, all of the rumors have come true. So I'm pretty sure that this isn't a rumor. This is this is legit. And for the XFL, they need to do this. There's no doubt about it right here. This league needs to keep attention on it. With the USFL in midseason, and, and I will say, you know, after the first week or so of, you know, we're in week two now, we're actually into gameplay, you know, the, the hype of excitement of building up into it, you know, has already passed. So now it's, you know, the excitement of on the field. Now this past week, week two, we got some excitement and some big plays and some big players, uh, you know, stepping up in the second week. But the first, you know, the first week and that sec, that first week of the uh, sorry, the first game of the second week, pretty dismal. I mean, you know, to where, uh, you know, things aren't, you know, on the greatest for the USFL. It's not bad, um, you know, but but things could, could get better for them. And, uh, you know, no fans in the stands, the ball issue. You all know that. We've talked about that before. And so the XFL has really needed to not only, like, keep themselves relevant in the discussion, putting information out there, uh, it, it's really a nice opportunity for them to jump on this. And, you know, putting him out there, toting him out there as, you know, an offensive coordinator, a guy coming back, uh, you know, so you had Bob Stoops, um, you know, who was a big hit coming back. You have him, uh, you have got Jones coming back. It just, it, it, it it all is falling in place for for them. Now, whether or not they can go ahead and finish it out will be another story. I think we're going to be getting information as we go out throughout the USFL season, and you might even see some more large, big information come out of them probably around uh, the playoff championship time of the USFL. That's probably what I would I would imagine seeing. And it's, you know, it's Beg the question, the information that was out there the past couple weeks uh, with, you know, the XFL meeting with their all the agents of all these players saying, you know, hold out, hold out. Uh, you know, we got you guys in 2023. May, maybe there is something to that, that maybe there are a bunch of guys who are holding out, waiting uh, to, uh, you know, get a contract with the XFL when the XFL is ready to bring in players. It'll be interesting to see how things progress. We're still a long way off uh, for the XFL. And if if I'm being completely honest with you and with myself, I the changes that they have made, now there's not been a lot, and but the changes that they've made and how generic they have been uh, with things has has really given me a lot of skepticism about this league and what this league is going to turn into. I'm not completely fully convinced um, 
uh, you know, all all of that we loved about the XFL 2.0, that 3.0 might not live up to that, and it might be a totally different animal. Uh, you could uh, part of that just just being with the stuff that they put out there, the stuff that they've said. Uh, you, you know, I think the coaching hires were, were spot on. I, I mean, I really do. I liked, I liked everything they did there. Um, I was really encouraged by, by that. I mean, you've got some, some guys that you're bringing in there, stepping up. We'll, we'll see what happens with them, but on paper, it all, all looks really good. looks exciting. I just, I don't know if we're going to get that same feel that we got out of the first, I mean, sorry, the second iteration of, of the XFL. And so right now I'm just, I'm just skeptical with it, with, with the logo change and how generic they've been about telling us what they're doing. That's really been, um, just kind of got me a little leery about what they're going to do. Um, I hope that, like I've said before, keep the logos the same, keep the rules the same. Don't change things on me and that, uh, with it. And, uh, you know, we'll see what this league shapes up to be. I'm, um, I'm optimistic by what I've been hearing of late. So really just looking at, you know, everything you've got the USFL and Fox and NBC on one side, and then it's looking like you've got the XFL and ABC ESPN on the other side. And it looks like, yeah, we're getting ready for a, uh, a pretty, you know, epic, uh, battle, capitalistic battle, uh, for lack of a better term, between these uh, these two uh, spring leagues come 2023. And I'm loving it. I, you know, as a fan, you should be loving it too. And I've said this quite a bit, and I'm going to just keep reiterating it till the cows come home, that us as football fans, we need to just be supporting both of these leagues. We need to show them that, yes, there is marketability for spring football. Yes, us as fans want spring football. Yes, give us more football. And we will watch it. And we just have to be supportive, especially of the USFL, even if it isn't the greatest football right now. Uh, if we support it now, uh, in the future, we'll get the product that we want. And so, you know, as with MLFB, patience is strength. Uh, you know, I think in this situation that that's probably the case here. Uh, you know, although with, you know, the MLFB, I'm, I'm at this point where they're not even on my radar anymore. Uh, you know, they've kind of lost me with you know, all that they're doing behind the scenes and all this and that, you know, they're, they're, they're in another place for me, but the USFL and the XFL, uh, like I said, there's room for both. I believe that in all my, with, with all my heart, I believe that there's room for both leagues and that both leagues can succeed. And, um, I think that both can, can have a place and, and be fun. So I'm looking forward to getting more information out of both. So that's all I got. Love to know what you think down in the comment section. Let me know down there. All right, guys, listen, I know that you're busy. I know that I'm busy. So let's get on out of here. You have a good day. Bye.